Hi, good evening folks. Welcome to another episode of Sabres to the Future. This is the video on this channel that discusses and talks about the young prospects inside our farm, maybe not yet signed, that have yet to don the Sabres jersey. And tonight we're going to talk about, that's right, Mr. Devin Levi. I figure, again, it's time to talk about Devin Levi, guys, because I've been right so far this year about two signings, which was uh, good, which was uh, Samuelson and Cousins. Both got signed when I started to talk about it a bit, and I'm hoping this one will get done as well. Because even though it won't be a big contract, as we know, guys, this is a huge one if we get this guy locked in. So... Let's take a look at his numbers this year, folks. His season is done. And you see his numbers. Numbers were very good this year, guys. 17, 12, and 5. Hey, they got the saves wrong there. He didn't just make one save. I don't know what, what that's about. They made a mistake there. Anyway, uh, 933 save percentage this year. And his uh, goals against was a 2.24. I'm going to show you a clip, guys. And we'll look at this. All right. In 66 career games in the NCAA, Levi went 38, 22, and 6 with a 942 save percentage and a 1.90 goals against average and 16 shutouts. Levi's 942 career save percentage is the second best mark in the history of men's college hockey. Connor Hellebuck is the all time leader with a 946 career save percentage in eight fewer games. For many, Ryan Miller is the best NCAA goalie ever. He has the Hobie Baker Award to show for it. And one of the most remarkable careers over three full seasons at Michigan State. Hellebuck also up there as a record holder and owner of one of the best two-year runs we've ever seen at the collegiate level. And has turned that into a Vesna Trophy winning career in the NHL. In terms of collegiate prowess, Levi is right in that conversation with those two players. And if he had a better team in front of him over the last two years, he likely would have achieved even more accolades than he's already gotten. I found that was a good clip. I forget where it was came from. I think it was, I think it was Flow Hockey or something. It was, uh, I should have clipped that out too, just to give them a shout out. But uh, uh, you know, folks, getting this guy locked in is going to be huge. And if we can get him locked in, I think that would be amazing news for all of us because goaltending is really a question mark for a lot of us. Yeah, it's Flow Hockey, guys. The play, uh, the, I got that uh, article from Flow Hockey. F-L-O Hockey. So just go to flowhockey.tv and you'll see that article. The, the whole article's there. That's just a clip of it. I found that really interesting. As we've seen his year, yes, the numbers went down, but if you recall, guys, he started amazing this year. He just started, and then he, then he went off, off track for about four games. There was one game he let in eight goals in a period and a half or something. It was nuts. And that really blew up his numbers this year because he only played so many games, right? But still very good numbers this year. So this, I believe, guys, I've been saying it for a long, long time. I believe this is the goalie of our future. I've been saying it since Lord knows when, since we got him practically. I really do believe that this is our goalie and we got to get this guy locked in. I'm sure a lot of you folks would probably lose your minds if uh, this is the news this week. I'm, I'm throwing this out there, guys, because I want, the, <laughs> I want, I'm hoping that, that ripple effect thing happens again with this, you know? It seems every time I've talked about somebody needing to get signed on the Sabres, it kind of happens. So, you know, I'm just hoping that this happens again. And um, this would be a big one for us. I think this would be, we'd all breathe a sigh of relief because a lot of, there's a lot of folks out there that still believe he's never going to sign in Buffalo, which I think those days are dwindling away. Um, there's too much opportunity, I believe, for this young man on this team. He knows right away he's coming into a good young squad He's going to be the number one guy most likely, you know. It would be kind of crazy for him not to sign here. And 
and start developing over in our system, you know? I mean, I can picture him doing, um, I, I know a lot of people are saying it's gonna take three years of him and the miners, no, no. One, one year. One year of him in the AHL level, and I believe he'll be an NHL goalie, he's that good. He, he's just that good. You know, he's like uh, Carter Hart, who I'd love to see the Sabres nab also while he's available. I cannot believe Philadelphia would be willing to let that goalie go. I know he's had some rough years lately. Just keep an eye of the team he's on. If the Flyers let that, that kid go, that's a bad, bad, bad mistake in Philly. Uh, and Sabres, I'd be thrilled if we landed, you know, Carter Hart and Devin Levi for our future. Oh my goodness, you know, like, but that's just a pipe dream. I know that. So right now, guys, when it comes to this, how are you feeling? Really, do you think he's going to get signed? I'm going to say he's going to get signed in the next seven days. How do you like that one, guys? How is that for a hot take on the channel? I think Devin Levi is going to get signed sooner than we all think. It just makes perfect sense to me that we get this kid signed sooner than later. It would make sense to him. I think also, and uh, it, it just, it, it just, there's nothing else that can be done except he holds out and doesn't sign in Buffalo, which we don't want to hear. You know, we don't want to hear that because then we're going to lose him for nothing eventually. And that would really suck. That would really suck big time. My gut feeling, we'll have him signed inside of seven days. All right, guys, take that one to the bank. And you let me know if I'm wrong. I'll be the first one to say I was wrong. But right now I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think this is going to be the next thing that we're going to hear. Big, big news. Maybe he doesn't want to be a distraction though to the boys right now. I get that. So it might not happen also because of that. He doesn't want to be a distraction to the team as well. But I don't see how this is bad news or a distraction really. You know, because it's not really going to affect the team right now. Not right now. If anything, it's good news. Even for the goalies, it's good news because at the same time, it's been a frustrating year for our goalies, for sure, you know? And I, I know I look, I, I think we're we're gonna hang on to UPL, I'm pretty sure. So I could see him and UPL being the guys that are running it eventually. And uh, I think we're gonna move Comrie in the offseason. Just the feeling I get, he just doesn't feel like he fits in here. He had that good West trip. He, yeah, he had that winning streak recently. It just, uh, I don't know, guys. I'm not feeling it with Comrie. I'm just not, you know? And I know that he was hurt and, you know, that, that too adds to it. But it, it's just, it's one of those things. I'm just trying to get a grip on it. And I just can't for some reason with Comrie. And there's no hate on Comrie. I don't have any hate on Comrie, so... Folks, what do you think? Yes or no? Does Levi get signed inside? I'll say a two-week span. In a, two weeks from today, will Devin Levi officially have signed with the Buffalo Sabres or not? You tell me. All right, folks. See you in the next one.